I'll now call upon Christopher Yen, Vice President of Finance and Administration at BUSU and Yes Side Representative for the Constitutional Amendments Referendum. This referendum was also initi initiated internally by BUSAC. Again, as there is no no side in this referendum, Yes Side will now have an opportunity to make a brief presentation outlining your campaign. Thank you, Adam. I just want to extend a brief welcome to all of the members in the council room here tonight, and especially anyone that is at home watching this debate live, your participation makes democracy run at the university, and I thank you for that. So what I'm going to do tonight is outline the four pillars of the constitutional referendum and why it's critically important that you do vote yes in the upcoming election. The first pillar is accountability. So it's critically important, as we've noticed, that we want to make the student union more accountable to the student body. To do this, we found that there are members of the board of directors who are, in essence, above the student vote. And what we want to ensure is that those members are acting in full accordance with their mandate and their duties, or else they should be replaced with other individuals who will do their due diligence and see the mandate fulfilled accordingly. So that is why we have allowed for a double supermajority. So in, in fact, the board as well as the council will be allowed to remove a member of the board if they're not fulfilling their duty. The board makes some of the most high level decisions that the organization makes at all. And what we want to ensure is that those individuals are doing their due diligence and representing the students effectively. We also want to make sure that the Constitution is now in line with our two-year mandate for two members of the Board of Directors. In that, they should serve out a full two years on the Student Council as well. And the way that it reads currently, it would the, the members that serve two years would only serve one year on council and the other year they wouldn't. And we want to make sure that those members of the Board are accountable to the council as well. The next pillar is sustainability. And so in sustainability, we want to focus on executive portfolio redistribution to make sure that all members of the executive are pulling their weight fully and in accordance with our bylaws, our policies, and our procedures. To do this, we found that the internal responsibilities of the Vice President of University Affairs would f better be fulfilled under the existing executives and with the external focus coming next year under the VP of External Affairs, we want to make sure that they're all executives are pulling their weight and that no executive is essentially left as a part-time individual, making it so that they're, they don't have a full mandate to fulfill and they're also being paid a full mandate by the student dollar. And to ensure that the student dollar is most used effectively, we want to see instead of having five executives at a time when the organization really can't manage that sort of size, have four executives with full portfolios and full mandates to see that those students that are elected to those positions strive, as well as making sure that the organization is sustainable financially in the long term. The third pillar is transparency. In transparency, what we found is we want to make sure that the committees of the council have proper mandates and can fulfill what the council gives to them. And what we found last year was that there is some debate in gray area as to whether or not a committee has a full mandate as given by the council. So to do this, we've added a clause that defines a committee more fully and allows the council to designate responsibilities off to those committees to ensure that the work that needs to be done at the committee level is done at the committee level, which will then see council function more effectively and properly for the student body. We also included the fact that any future per credit fee in their MOU should stipulate whether or not the fee is a per credit charge or whether or not it is a, a sum total charge, so a charge is legitimacy. And this has a couple of different tiers inside of it. So the first is the 2% to 7% quorum change for a petition. And what we wanted to make sure is that a large portion of the student body okays something to go to referendum. We pay for every election to take place. And these elections are paid for by the student body. And what we don't want is for things to go to referendum that the student body doesn't legitimately believe or doesn't legitimately want to see go to referendum. And that's why this change has been implemented. The next to that is that a petition cannot return to referendum more than once a year unless it's okayed by two-thirds of a majority in council. What this makes sure is that the student body isn't voting continuously on an issue that they've already settled and they've already put their mandate and their voice behind. We want to make sure that any referendum that goes through has the proper time to do its due diligence and see it effectively implemented before any harsh or negative criticism comes to it and allows it the proper time to fulfill its mandate and go from there. And finally, 
there's a 10% to 14% increase for the requirement in quorum to count in a referendum period. What we wanted to make sure is that we build ourselves a process that we start working towards the ultimate goal of making it so that we have more and more of a percentage of the student body required to vote in order to make sure that any referendum is legitimate and pass so that in essence we don't have 10% counting for 100% of the population. We don't believe that's fair. And what we want is the 14% to act as the gateway and the stepping stone and that in future years we will continue to increase this quorum percentage to ensure that a greater voice in the student body is heard when students vote and to make sure that all referendums are legitimate. So in essence, sustainability, accountability, transparency, and legitimacy are the four pillars of the constitutional referendum. And we fully believe that you should vote yes, because these are the things to make the student union viable long term and accountable to the student body. Thank you.